All right, so the time has finally come for us to showcase the newly Extreme Z Awakened Fizz LR Master Roshi at Rainbow Status and almost Max Links. I mean, I tried really hard to get him there before Part 3 started, but it just wasn't working out, so this will have to do. And realistically, it's not gonna make that much of a difference overall, right? By the way, if you guys missed it, uh, I did a pre-Extreme Z Awakening showcase a couple days ago, just to see how good he was, you know, before the EZA. And he was already a monster there, so it's gonna be interesting to see how good he is now, you know, how big of a difference this uh, EZA actually makes. And the last thing we gotta do before we jump into it is uh, quickly go over his new details with the EZA. So if you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 to 60 seconds and uh, we'll jump right into it. All right, so starting with his new leader skill, it is Turtle School, category Q plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. His 12 key super attack massively raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage. Why can't I click on this? Okay, yeah, massively raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage, and great chance of stunning the enemy. And then the 18 key super, uh, raises attack by 628% for one turn, causes Mega Colossal Damage, and seals Super Attack. And then as far as his passive goes, it is now Defense plus 120% and Medium Chance of evading enemies' attacks, including Super Attacks, Turtle School Category Allies, Key plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 40%, and then if HP is 50% or less at the start of character's attacking turn, and there are another two or more Turtle School category allies on the team, revives with 60% HP recovered when the character or an ally attacking in the same turn is KO'd once only. So before, I believe it was revives with 50%, now it's revives with 60%. And uh, finally, his active skill should be exactly the same, everything else is exactly the same, except for a super attack which uh, goes up to level 25 as opposed to 20. So that is the easy A for Master Roshi. And with all that said, we're going to jump in now on the uh, GT Legendary Goku event. I think what I'm going to do on this first rotation is probably put these guys there so they can build up their passive. And uh, let's give them these orbs, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so 18 key super for Roshi. And here we go. Let's see how hard he's hitting now, because he was hitting pretty damn hard, you know, before the Extreme Z Awakening, so now that he has the EZA, now that he has, you know, five more super attack levels, he should be doing even more damage, right? Oh yeah, okay. <sighs> That's a big difference. Wow, okay, so we went from, wait, what was it before? We went from about 4 million, I would say, on the 18 key super to now 5.5, 5.6. If we had a full 24 key super, it must have been close to, to 6 million, right? Or something like that, I don't know. I'm not sure how the math works, but regardless, uh, that was impressive. I gotta say, that was really impressive. Now, what I think I'm gonna do on this rotation is actually put UI Goku there. Because I want him to get a lot of dodges, obviously. And we'll save any Fizz Orbs we can for Roshi. So let's just take those. There we go. That worked out. But yeah, man. 5.8 mil. First turn. First attack. Oh. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I thought so. As soon as that super attack launched, I was like, there's no way Goku's going to dodge that. There's no way Goku was gonna come clutch like that and dodge a super why no, that was really weird the screen just went black for like three seconds was that just me yeah it seems like the pause between attacks is like a little bit longer than normal that's weird I'm, I'm trying to figure out if it was like my you know Elgato malfunctioning or if it's the game or am I just sleep deprived? That's also a possibility. Like, what is going on, guys? I don't, I don't understand. It doesn't matter either way. Goku's dead. Let's move on. Hopefully, uh, 
We don't have any more technical difficulties here. And let's let's put Goku and Frieza at the end because we don't need to showcase them anymore. And let's see the defense here. Okay, so Roshi's at almost 200,000 defense. The Roshi and Tien have 151,000, which is very good for what they are for a support unit. And I guess I'll just do the same thing. We'll just leave them... Yeah, we'll just leave them where they are. Let's give one orb to the Roshi and Tien. Let's give these to Roshi since we are showcasing him. And uh, we'll give a couple to the Frieza and Goku as well. Damn, so close to an 18 key. Okay, so they should be fully built up now. Let's see how much damage they can do. That's not bad. That's not bad. 2.49. That's pretty, that's pretty comparable, actually, to the Piccolo and Gohan. So a lot of people were asking me, like, should they bring, you know, Go Gohan and Piccolo as a support for U7, or should they bring Roshi and Tien, right? And I feel like because their damage is comparable and their defense is pretty comparable, too, maybe Gohan and Piccolo are a little bit more tanky, like, after they super, but... Roshi and Tien are a better slot 1 unit, so you can actually put them in the first slot without worrying too much about their defense. Um, and I think just overall, like I would go with Roshi and Tien because they have better support, right? So as a support unit, they just perform their job a lot better than uh, the Gohan and Piccolo do. Because Gohan and Piccolo only give, what is it, like 20% attack and defense, I think? Which is not great, like it, it, it's something. It, it's something, but it's not a lot. So I personally would go with Roshi and Tien much more often than, than Gohan and Piccolo. But of course, it's up to you. It's a personal choice. Um, I just like the better support. And just like as a free-to-play unit, they're actually really, really good, right? And on, also another unit you should not be sleeping on. It... Are you kidding me? Dude, come on. What are you doing? Like, why, why supers every time? Why, why do you... <laughs> it's whatever, man. I'm, I'm sure you guys are tired of me complaining about this issue that seems to be happening very often with, with these UI Gokus. It can't just be me, right? Like, I don't think I'm crazy. But why does it seem like every time we get a super attack coming our way, they, they just forget how to dodge? You know, like, they, they, they remember to dodge for the normal attacks, and then it's like, oh, look, a super attack. I don't think I'm supposed to dodge that. Let's eat it. Like, why? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, so we're finally getting the Icarus. Um, this is going to be an interesting turn, because, uh, of course, this great ape hits really hard. This great ape hits really, really hard. So I'm thinking... Uh, we probably should pop a Whis, right, just to be safe. I'm going to save the active skill for Vegeta, but I I'm going to leave Roshi in the middle just because I think, uh, you know, he's going to come come through for us. He's going to dodge and attack if he needs to, even though it's a medium chance, even though it's 30%. I think he'll be okay. Oh, there's the super. Okay. So Vegeta, you know, he hasn't had a chance to build up his damage reduction, but as you can see, still tanking really well. Obviously with the Whis active, so it's not like that impressive. <laughs> but, you know, lesser units would have taken more damage, even with Whis active. I'm just saying. Alright, so we don't have to worry about Roshi taking any supers now. And we got up to 5.6 mil, right? Was it? 5.6? Additional super. 4.1 now. So, some, almost like 10 million attack that turn. And one dodge. Okay. One out of two? I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, look at that support doing good damage too. Alright. So, uh, we should be fine after this. Let me, let me actually pop the active skill here. Because we're going to be doing good damage with the UI Goku. And, uh... Yeah, this would be probably the best time to use it. And also, I want to watch this animation again, right? Because, like, it's it's still easily one of my favorite animations in the game. Nice. 
Oh, that was so much damage. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm gonna put the STR UI in the front just to make sure he gets his full passive. I'm not sure how many dodges we actually had so far, but I don't think it was seven yet. Or maybe it was. You know what? That attacks that looks like he's fully built up. Well, damn. Okay. So he's out of there. Now we're gonna move on to a stage where Roshi can really shine. So we're gonna put him... Hmm, actually... How do we get him an 18 key super? I'm trying to think. I don't think it's possible. I don't I don't think we actually can. Because if I give these, we still can't get those fizz orbs to drop. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess I'll do that. And then we can get three orbs for Roshi and give those to Vegeta. Wow, first turn we weren't able to actually get an 18k super for Roshi. But as you guys saw, like it's actually pretty easy, I would say, overall, as long as you... I mean, if you have the Roshi and Tien with him, then yeah, he's getting the extra key. Um, and all you have to do is like get like another three key or something like that, and then he has his 18k super, right? So yeah, it's not that difficult to get it, but every once in a while you'll have a rotation like this where it just doesn't work out, but it's fine. Okay. 96k. Nice. Nice tanking. Nice tanking from Vegeta. And and you might have noticed, yeah, so if we don't 18 key super first, the 12 key super does almost no damage. Because we don't get the huge attack boost. The, the 628% attack boost, which, uh, you know, would apply to the additional super. But since we don't get that first... Yeah, his 12 key super does like nothing. <laughs> He's very, very weak with just an 18 key or just a 12 key super. So you always want to try to get that 18 key super as much as possible, which I know is like super self explanatory. I don't have to say that, but uh, I'm gonna say it anyways. Yeah, just get the 18 key super whenever you can because it does make a really, really big difference for his damage output. But his defense is still, still solid, still rock solid. All right, um, I'm going to pop a Princess Snake, not because the Gokus need it, but obviously, um, you know, Tien and Roshi with 137,000 defense is not going to cut it if we get super attacked. So just to be extra, extra safe, we're going to use the Princess Snake, get that 30% damage reduction, and uh, still hoping they don't get supered, of course, because I'm not sure how much they would take. Oh my god. <laughs> Really? Damn, okay. And the additional attack too. 8.5, right? That was 8.5 for the first super. And then 5 for the second. The difference that Roshi and, and Tien make, man. Oh my god. That's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And Goku's almost dead. Um... If we get a crit from Roshi and Tien, it should do it, but it's probably not going to happen. I doubt it. Oh, I swear there's going to be a super. I'm glad we didn't get one. I'm really glad we didn't. Uh, all right, let's do it like this. So I believe... Mm, I guess that doesn't really matter. It's the same links either way. So let, let's put Roshi in the front. Let's give him... Five orbs, nice 22 key super, 145,000 defense should be enough, even if we do get supered with the type of advantage. And of course, he always has the chance to dodge. It's only 30%, but he's dodged a decent amount of attacks for us. Like, I, I feel like I can trust him more than I can trust Goku, you know? It's weird. What'd I just say? What'd I just say? Yo, Roshi's just more dependable, man. Roshi, Roshi's just more dependable. Legit. <laughs> Alright, Super Saiyan 4 Goku's dead. Now we just got the last guy here. Um, Let's see. Ooh, Alright, so... Yeah, AGL UI will take some punishment. If he gets super attacked. I think I'm going to pop a Whis. Just to cover our butt a little bit. 
Let's pop the active skill for Vegeta. Get some uh, nice damage in there. Well, not a lot, but some extra damage, nonetheless. Uh, Alright, something. <laughs> it's something. And let's give these to Vegeta. Uh, I'll give these to Goku. And then those to UI Goku. And then we have a lot of Fizz Orbs for Roshi next turn, which is also awesome. Alright, here we go. I got this. I got this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, finally. It feels like it's been forever since I got all, all six numbers. Or don't gonna attack. It shouldn't be that hard. It really shouldn't be. But like for some reason, it just it's a struggle for me. <laughs> for some reason, it's a big struggle for me. I don't know why. I always seem to miss at least one or two in the videos. Maybe maybe I'm nervous. Maybe it's the pressure. It just happens though. All right, Vegeta shouldn't take too much here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Goku thought he was gonna do something. Goku thought he was gonna do something. I was like, yo, I'm gonna I'm a super you. You lost your shirt, so you don't have as much defense. Nah man. And I'm I'm still like amazed every single time I see how much attack the STR UI Goku can get. Cause you know, like we've had quite a few UI Gokus come out since him. He is like kinda old. Not super old, but kinda old at this point. Over a year. Um, which is a long time in gacha games. Like, that's a long time for a gacha game uh, unit, right? And he's still, like, yo, he's still ridiculous right now. He still, still impresses me a ton. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna let... I'm gonna let the Go... Well, not Goku. The Roshi and Tien attack first. And then let's give these to LR Roshi, of course. Nice. And then Vegeta should finish things off if Roshi doesn't. Either way, I'm pretty sure Goku's dead this turn. He has to be dead. Well, we'll see. He could dodge, of course. Forgot about that. He could dodge the super attack here. The Roshi's getting up to 4.5. No, 5.46. Would have been higher if we had Goku on rotation. Additional, not a super though. That sucks. And, uh, Vegeta, do your thing, man. Do your thing. I was kind of hoping we would actually get to see a revival skill. Um, oh, you know what? We probably could have, but I used too many items. Oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah, no, I was, I was really hoping we could, but I... You know, I, I like at this point I'm still not used to revival skills, so like I just assume I don't have them. <laughs> I don't know why it's weird, but yeah, it's just like not something that I like think about when when I'm running events. So yeah, that's why I'm like using so many items. But that's my bad, guys. Like I could have probably gotten a revival skill at some point during this video, during this run. But yeah, my use of items made that impossible uh well either way um you guys still got a good look at the easy a roshi obviously we did miss out on the rev revival skill we also didn't actually manage to get the active skill either but um you know that that one's gonna be a little bit situational so you're not always gonna get it for sure just like in this run um but the damage has been impressive the damage has been really impressive, the tanking has been quite impressive too, obviously the dodges, especially in clutch moments, unlike somebody here, okay, I'm not gonna name any names, but there's some people here that let me down, uh, but Roshi has been clutch, man, that, that dodging, or that super attack, I remember that one, and that was impressive, so, there you have it, my friends, easy A, Fizz LR Master Roshi, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him, are you impressed? Are you disappointed or are you just neutral? Either way, let me know in the comments and uh, yo, make sure you go get him done, man. If you guys haven't done so already, Extreme Z Awaken him, uh, you know, Doken Awaken him if you haven't done that either. Farm him out, basically. Spend the time, get him done, 
you won't regret it. I promise you, you will not regret it, especially because he also, you know, will be giving the boost, the, the support to your UI Gokus. So if you're not running a team of like full Turtle School or anything like that, at the very least on Reps Universe 7, your UI Gokus will be getting that boost. Key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40% is pretty huge actually. So um, yeah, he's worth it. He's worth it. He is, in my opinion, I would say probably the best free-to-play unit in the game right now. Even better than the uh, LR First Form Frieza. I mean, uh, that might be a little controversial, but just from like a overall package, right? Like from his offense to his defense to the support, he just has a lot more to offer. Oh, revival skill, of course. Can't forget about that. Revival skill, active skill. I mean, he has just a lot more to offer than First Form Frieza or really any of the other free-to-play units or free-to-play LRs in the game right now. So I am very confident, actually, in saying that this is now the best free-to-play unit in the game. Until we get something else crazy in the future, but for now, it's him, man. It's Roshi. He's, he's the guy. He's that guy. So, there you go, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.